What's up guys? So real quick, wanna make a video for you. Um, this is about overconfidence and why overconfidence can fucking kill you in the game of result. Um, we talk to people all the time in my company and a lot of times, you know, we're talking to successful business owners and successful sales leaders and people who, you know, make good money. Money's not really an issue in their life. And uh, they've, got, they've got that realm somewhat figured out, right? But with that, sometimes there's this ego that appears in other areas. And I went through this myself after I was an NFL player. I literally thought because I succeeded in one arena that I was gonna succeed in business. And I learned some really hard lessons early on that was like, I really didn't know shit about business because I was a good athlete and I applied uh, training and all the stuff that ultimately led me to the NFL. Just because I did that didn't mean that I was gonna be successful in business. That took me a lot of years to figure out. And so in fitness, we have these guys come in and they get on the phone and they're like, they're not in bad shape, right? They're, they're going to the gym, they're doing their stuff. And yet they don't look in the mirror and they're not like savage in their fitness. It's not for lack of effort, it's for lack of understanding. And the lack of understanding comes from a big ego because they think they know what they think they know what they need to know, but they don't know what they need to know, right? And it might not be that they don't know anything. It's like that golf analogy where they're two millimeters off. Anybody that plays golf knows that if your swing is like two millimeters off, you're gonna slice the shit out of the ball. But two millimeters in the other direction, you're gonna hit that shit right down the fairway. Same thing with fitness. It's like you might have a little blind spot where you don't actually understand what you don't understand. So your ego is getting in the way of actually getting the result. And then the other part is that a lot of times these guys are just busy being busy and they're not executing. It's like, they don't understand why they're doing the things they're doing. They think that a lot of cardio is gonna help them get shredded. They think that cutting out carbs is gonna get them shredded. They think that doing Bikram yoga and sweating their asses off is gonna, do, is gonna be the thing that gets them shredded. And I'm not saying like all those things are bad. I'm just saying like, look, when I do fitness, I do it with execution in mind. I was having, uh, you know, I have conversations with people and they do all this stuff in terms of exercise. And the first question that I ask everybody is like, why are you doing it? If you just wanna get a burn or you wanna get the runner side, cool. The reason I do fitness is because I want to look and feel and perform a certain way. I want to look like an athlete. I wanna feel like an athlete. I wanna look in the mirror and be proud as fuck of that image that I see because I've done work. And knowing that outcome, I can just execute on the shit that matters and cut out everything else. Most people and business guys, they don't know what those things are. So that's where the two millimeters is. It's not in that they lack effort, it's in that they lack execution and it's because of this understanding and their ego thinking that because they might be a little bit successful in one arena and they might be in a little bit better shape than most of their friends, that they know what to do and they don't, right? And then the third part of that is even if you do know what to do, doing, gotcha, that's actually good. Um, nice little pattern interrupt there. Knowing and actually doing are two completely different things, guys. Two completely different things. You can know how to do something and not be accountable to yourself to actually do it. And so part of it is being ruthless in your accountability. Fitness is not something, or my program especially, is not where you're gonna learn some magic trick, magic pill, or you're gonna learn something completely magic out of the box and, and be like all of a sudden superhero. The shit that we do is a fucking mentality, man. Like it's a mentality. It's not about counting your macros and, and, and going to the gym four times a week. A week. It's like we have strategies and tactics and we know that execution, what I talked about earlier, but it's tapping into this fucking mentality that you actually want to be savage. You actually want to walk into the boardroom and fill that motherfucker up because your presence demands respect. That's what it's about. It's about a mentality. That's why we get such great transformations. These people, yes, we, te we, we take that two millimeters and we make it so that they knock that ball straight down the fairway. But more than that, we get them to buy into this fact 
that there is no magic pill, that they're gonna have to put in the work and it's this mentality that is excited about being different. It's excited about going all the way. It's excited about actually fucking finalizing, fix that. finalizing a result that they've never been able to get.